how to build the easiest witch farm in Minecraft. These are the resources you will need for this farm. Okay, so the first step is to locate yourself a witch hut. Now, if you don't have a witch hut yet, still want to build this, I would recommend that you head over to a website called Shunk Base and then use that to locate one of these huts. But anyways, if you have found yourself one of these huts, before we start building this farm, make sure you have located the witch that spawns inside this hut. Now, you can choose to block them in firstly and then kill them later or simply kill them now. So what I'm going to do is simply kill them now. Now, we're killing these because only one witch can spawn inside this hut at any given time. That means that if we do not kill these witches and they run around no no witches will be able to spawn inside this farm so anyways let's get into it so firstly head inside this hut and then you will of course have to break yourself out anything that are inside this hut along with that you will also have to break out any flower pots or fences that are inside the windows like that and then after you've done that simply cover in the windows with blocks then in the back of the room right here build a wall going two blocks towards the door if that makes sense pretty much how like i am doing then we're also going to cover ourselves in some blocks right here so covering the door i'm going to break myself out right here temporarily just to be able to get out of this room then place mm, six more blocks right here like that so now we should have a small room that looks like this pretty much space for a two by two room then what i'm going to do is place myself at the glass block right here and this is because the witch spawn point will be on top of this block so by using this glass block the witches will spawn and then be pushed out then after done that we're going to break ourselves out these three blocks so every block that's pretty much on the floor beside the block that the witch will spawn on and then for the next step we will need to set four blocks under this block right here so that means one block two blocks three blocks four blocks we're gonna need to dig down four blocks right there like that okay so what we're gonna do now is build ourselves a trident killer so to do that you might have to cover up this hole quickly with some blocks but that's all fine then what we're gonna do is place ourselves at the piston right here then what we're gonna do is head out here and place ourselves an observer while looking at this piston then if we break the blocks we have right here the little triangle that's on top of the observer should be facing or kind of pointing away from the piston then always then what we can do is head back into this room then while standing in front of the piston look at the observer and place another observer now the little red zone i should be looking towards this block then place a piston right here break out these two blocks stand right here and place an observer while looking at this piston head out here place yourself an observer right here while looking at that observer piston break these blocks observer like that piston uh, observer another observer while looking at that observer piston observer and then a last observer pretty much like that and then you of course want to cover in any blocks we broke around here just to make sure that nothing glitches out like that so what you can do now is destroy the blocks we have under here again and then you will have to build yourself at the floor right here so pretty much under where all the pistons and observers are but then of course you will have to dig yourself out so i'm going to dig myself out this way so simply build yourself out a small way going out it doesn't really matter where you go out just make sure you can get out of this room like that so what you will have to do now to make sure the trident killer works is to head back to the side right here then you will have to place yourself at the lever on top of that piston flick the lever on once this should now go around once if we head back out there and flick this off again or turn it on now the piston should kind of go around in a circle constantly and if that happens then you've done this correctly so anyways what we can do now is head back out there and then turn this off quickly we can also block this in because and then what we're going to do is head under there because now we have to build a collecting system. Now we're going to build a pretty simple collecting system using hoppers and chests. However, I would recommend that you build an automatic item sorter simply because you would get a lot of things like potions which would take up a lot of space. However, you can also just have a bunch of chests if that's what you prefer instead. To build this, simply place out a double chest right there, so under these blocks right there. Break yourself into the side right there, place a some hoppers going into the chest like that. And then you will need to place yourself out at least one hopper minecart on top of one of these hoppers. So what I'm going to do is place one in the back right here. The destroy the railing or place the railing with an hopper minecart on top of it then destroy that railing and honestly that is enough because the items will be pushed around by the hoppers however i'm going to place another one right here just to make sure that all the items are picked up however if you want more you can place more but having two is enough on leveling one is also enough or if you want to have four that's also good but yeah now the collecting system is pretty much built so anyways once you've done that we just have a few more steps and one of them is that if we go into this room and block this off you can see that light is still inside this room and that is because light can shine through pistons so what we want to do is head out there and then simply cover in the pistons but you can also cover up servers if you want in the blocks just make sure that no light shines into this room pretty much like this and now we really just have one more step and that is head into this room and throw ourselves a trident on top of one of these pistons or on top of this ground however before we do that i would recommend you get yourself out an anvil but this is not needed but i do recommend it open that anvil and then put impaling five on that trident then once you've done that you can head into this room and throw the trident on top of one of the pistons make sure this works turn on the trident killer again right here and then as long as the trident is being pushed back and forth then this works yeah like that so now everything is good we can turn this off again and now i'm going to show you a little trick which will allow you to get up to three times the amount of drops or pretty much add a looting to this trident killer so to do that we're going to head into another anvil and then put looting on our sword this can be any kind of sword but as long as you have looting and hold the sword with looting when you turn on the trident killer you will get a looting three effect pretty much put onto the trident oh and you will also need to destroy this lever or change location of this lever because light will obviously shine through this piston thus meaning no mobs can spawn inside this room or witches 
So destroy that lever, place a block right there instead, make sure this is a solid block, and then place a lever on top of this block. Then you can simply turn that on, and then the trident killer will be turned on again. Also, one thing I did not mention, and I did not include the resources for this, however, if you want to, you can also change the roof blocks right here to be of tinted glass instead. This will obviously allow you to see into the room if you want. It's not necessary, but it's kind of cool, I guess. So, yeah, you can do that if you want. And then, um, yeah, the farm is pretty much done. So what I'm going to do now is build myself an AFK room just to make this farm as good as possible. Now, right now I'm playing on Sim 6, and if you don't know how to check that, you will have to head out of the world and then click on this little thing right here. Simply scroll down while you're on the main game menu, and then right here under the seat of your world, you will see simulation distance, and then right now it's on 6 chunks. So if you're playing on 6, build your AFK room accordingly to how I say right now. But if you're playing on simulation distance 4, you can build an AFK room similar, but you will have to be closer to the farm for the farm to work. So anyways, now I'm back in my world, and what I'm going to do is build my AFK room anywhere between 30 to pretty much 100 blocks above the roof right here. So for this farm I'm gonna go roughly 70 maybe 80 blocks up, however if you're playing on sim 4 be careful of how high up you go. And obviously I will be going up around 70 to 80 blocks, just make sure that no mobs can spawn in a nearby cave, which will obviously make the spawn rates of the farm a bit better, because anyways what I'm gonna do now is simply just build myself up to where I want my AFK room, which will be roughly Y level 144, so what I can do now since I have an elytra is just to break out all the blocks we have under here, and now we can simply turn on the farm while holding a looting 3 sword to make sure the farm works, look at the top of here, boom, and what you can do now is simply head up to your AFK room, stand AFK, and now you'll get a bunch of gunpowder, redstone, glowstone, and plenty of other things that we just drop. So yeah, that is pretty much that. So yeah, that is pretty much that for this one. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions about how this works or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. So anyways, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.